In this video, I'm going to show you how to transform your old GoPro videos and photos with AI, and the before and after difference is going to shock you. So this footage right here was shot on my Hero 4 Silver back in 2016, and what you're seeing here is you're seeing a 4K version of a file that was originally 1080p, and this is the before and the after. That is a dramatic transformation and it feels like it came from a much newer GoPro. These photos and videos that I've shown you samples of here, these were from an adventure with my wife in Hawaii back in 2016. We went to the Big Island for a couple of weeks. We did a ton of hiking and exploring, and it was a great time. And some of these clips I would like to use in some of my newer projects as it pertains to GoPros. But unfortunately, with the quality the way it is, from 2016 to now, GoPros and video technology have come a long way. So being able to upscale these clips and have them look good is really quite useful. So today we're gonna dive into AI enhancement that feels like actual magic. And by the end, you'll know how to transform any GoPro footage. So perhaps the biggest problem with GoPro footage from older GoPros is that footage you typically could only go up to 1080p or 2.7K. This footage I have from the Hero 4 and the Hero 5. The Hero 4 is 1080p and the Hero 5 footage is 2.7K. And the problem with that is a lot of videos today, it's very beneficial to share them in 4K. They look good, and YouTube likes content that's shared in 4K. But the problem is when you try to put that on a 4K timeline and you make it larger, it's going to look very pixelated and it's going to look very amateurish and it's not going to look good. There's upscaling software I've tried before, but it makes everything look really plasticky and it does not look good. In addition, I've found that a lot of that upscaling software creates weird artifacts in the footage, and weird artifacts do not look good either. And basically I found with those tools, they would fix one issue, but for every issue they fixed, they created three more. So I'm going to use a tool called Video Proc Converter AI, and I'm going to show you how to enhance your videos and photos from your older GoPro cameras or situations where you didn't film in 4K or 5.3K like in the newer GoPros, maybe you used 2.7K or 1080p, and then maybe you regretted it after the fact. Don't worry, you'll be able to fix it with what I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm going to show you how to experience the miracle of detail recreation. So first of all, when we open Video Proc Converter AI, we're gonna click on Super Resolution AI right here, and I'm going to select a clip to drop on here. So let's start with footage that I have from the Hero 4 Silver back in 2016. I'm gonna drop the video there and it's going to analyze it. But first of all, I wanna show you this video file I selected. It is 1080p and it is 29 seconds long. First of all, I recommend keeping high quality mode selected. And then down here for scale, you can select two times, three times, or four times. But what I like to do is I like to go to resolution and in resolution, I'm going to put this up to 4K. And then for the AI model up here, there's two different options. You can do the Gen Detail version three, or you can do the Real Smooth version three. So here in blue, it explains the slight differences between these two models. So this one, the first model is especially good if you have any skin and hair in there. So if there are any people in these, which I'll show you one later on where there is, I recommend doing that one. But then the real smooth, it's a little more subtle. It's smoother, so it's gonna have a little bit less sharpness. It is going to restore the original. It's gonna have more clarity. It's gonna be brighter. And it's going to de-blur and de-noise. I find that both of these models look very similar, but I'm going to do the default Gen Detail one so that you can see what this looks like. And then the last thing you'll wanna do is you wanna go down here and find your output folder. So I'm gonna have this just output to the GoPro Clips folder right here. And I'm gonna click Open. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click run. So it's gonna give us our countdown right here. And depending upon the length of your file, this could take several minutes. If your file's really long, go grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage while you wait on it. After all, it is upscaling it, in this case, to four times what the file started at. Our file is done upscaling, so we're gonna take a look at it here. That looks really good. And just so you can see the stark difference between the original and this one, I'm going to show you them side by side, the 1080p and then the 4K. The difference is incredible. This looks really good. So next, let's take a look at the image AI feature. So I actually have quite a few photos that I took with my Hero 4 Silver back in the day. For instance, this one right here, this was taken at a beach in Hawaii and beautiful Black Sands Beach uh, around sunset. But that photo is unfortunately pretty small resolution 
It's only 3.8 megabytes in size. It's a very small quality JPEG image. So what this is doing here is this is taking a look at this. It's analyzing the file and the AI is generating more image details. And if we use the Gen Detail V3 model here, this is going to allow us to scale it up to two times more. So the end photo is going to be 8,000 by 6,000 pixels, but the original photo was only 4,000 by 3,000. I'll show you that right here. The original was 4,000 by 3,000. And here it mentions it was captured on the Hero 4 Silver. And then also you can do the colorizing monochrome image. And what this is gonna do is this is going to affect the saturation and color in the image. So you definitely may want to do this if you don't wanna to have to use another tool like Lightroom, Photoshop, or another photo editor. You can just do the photo editing right in this program. So as you can see, when I do hypercolor here, it really brings out the colors in the sky there. This was at sunset. And that image on the left, the original on the GoPro, the Hero 4 Silver just unfortunately did not capture all the colors that were happening at sunset that day. But the one on the right, that looks absolutely stunning compared to the one on the left. So I'm going to stick with hypercolor here and then I'm going to click run. And then after I click run, it's going to export the photo and the photo is not going to take long to upscale. It's just gonna take usually like 15 seconds or so, depending on your computer. And then our finished product photo is right here now. So we'll take a look at that. That photo looks incredible. In fact, I love it how it's got the motion blur with the wave here. That looks beautiful. The detail on the waves, the sunset, the reflection of the sky off the rocks here. Love how that looks. And that is compared to the original, which is right here. You can see there's not nearly as many details there. The photo doesn't look necessarily bad, but it's quite washed out. And some of the details, there's just not a lot of clarity there. So the one on the right definitely looks better. And as I mentioned earlier, if you wanna do this with a video with a face in it, I'm gonna show you a video here with a face. So I'm gonna drop this clip on here. And this video is my wife and I, we were walking down into the YPO Valley back in 2016. It's a great hike on the Big Island. You go way down this really steep road. It's one of the steepest roads in the world. The average grade on the road is 25%, but there are parts of the road that are 40%. So it's a road, if you're going to drive down it, you have to have really good four x four, but we love the adventure of hiking down the road, especially the challenge of hiking back up. But this one of course has faces in it. And this original clip was 2.7K. I'm gonna open the info here to show that to you. Right here for the dimensions, 2704 by 1520. And we are gonna upscale this to 4K. And check out the before and after with this one. So we are heading down into the YPO Valley, uh, considered the first or second steepest road in the United States, and one of the top 10 steepest in the world. Uh, since our rental car cannot drive down here and four wheel drive only, uh, we are going to walk down this. As you can see, so I got some serious steepness. It'll get steeper as we get down further, but this is uh, what it looks like right now. Yeah, I would not want to take a Hyundai Elantra down it. The difference, of course, is a little bit more subtle because it is 2.7K to 4K, but when you put it on a large screen like a TV, it really makes a difference. So I converted several other photos and video files here too, and I want to show you the before and after with those so you can get a full appreciation of how good VideoProc Converter AI really does. This photo here, where you're seeing the before and after, this was down at the bottom of the Chain of Craters Road in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And for this one, I did the scale of two times. But for this one, I didn't use the hypercolor because I was already pretty happy with the colors in this. But what I did do is I used the deep color. I wanted a little bit deeper saturation, especially that water in the sky. In the original photo, it was a little bit washed out and I didn't feel it really captured all of the vibrant colors that were going on that day. It's Hawaii after all. Hawaii is packed with vibrant colors as are most tropical places. In deep color, I really like a lot more with this photo. I think it really brings out the colors and makes them more accurate without looking too oversaturated. So deep color, I recommend for that one. And then the final photo and perhaps my favorite from the Hero 4 Silver is this rainbow that I captured when the sun was starting to set. This was over Kilauea. Which, by the way, if you follow the Hawaii volcano, Kilauea looks 
vastly different now than it did then. After the violent eruptions in 2018 in particular, a lot has changed up there and it is erupting even now. There's been some great lava fountains recently. And with this particular image, I was actually happy with the colors. I feel like the Hero 4 Silver did a good job getting pretty vibrant real to life colors there. So for this one, I didn't use any of the colorizing. I simply kept it the same. But as you can see with the upscaling, the moon right there above the rainbow becomes much more noticeable. The clouds look cool. The rainbow is even more pronounced. And then the smoke and steam coming off the crater, there's more detail there as well. So I really like how this photo came out. And then these additional video files from the Hero 4 Silver here that I upscaled from 1080p to 4K. The first one was up at the Kilauea Crater, I was looking over the edge there, and I really like the difference that that makes. The details are much more noticeable there. And then the other video file was down at the base of the Training Craters Road, and it was taken at the same spot with the photo that we just edited, but this one is a video file showing the waves crashing on the cliff. And I really like what upscaling this to 4K does for it. There's a lot more detail in the rocks, the waves, and the sky, and it just looks really good. And then these two other 2.7K videos from the Hero 5 Black. These ones I really like. The first one was my wife and I, we were at a White Sands beach and I got some video footage there. It was taken around sunset, her standing there at the edge of the beach. And I really like upscaling that. That's a really good clip. And then the other clip was down in the YPO Valley. And this clip was taken at the very bottom there is a black sand beach down there, and it's a beautiful beach, a beautiful place to be. So as you can see, the VideoProc AI AI enhancement does an incredible job with those older, lower resolution GoPro videos and photos. The before and after differences are quite dramatic. These are the same clips with completely different quality. And if you haven't checked out my other recent video with VideoProc AI, where I show you how to convert and compress files, I definitely encourage you to check it out. It's going to be super helpful, especially if you find your GoPro files are taking up a lot of space or they're not playing well on devices that you own. And if you'd like to try out the AI features in VideoProc AI for free, you can access the software for free at this link for a limited time. And I'll also share the link in the description for ease of navigation. And do note with the giveaway, it is an older version with older AI models, but the full version uses the newest AI models.